Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Coming up in today's video, I just want to show you the best settings to use when uh, exporting a video for YouTube. Now, you might be here because um, you want to start creating YouTube videos, doing blog, doing vlogs and things like that. Um, so I'll show you these settings. I obviously have a YouTube channel, so I create videos for that. Um, but you might also be a wedding filmmaker. Uh, that's why you might be subscribing to my channel and um, I use it a lot on my videos as well because I've got a separate YouTube page which I use for SEO um, you know because YouTube is a search engine at the end of the day so for sort of each um, wedding I do I usually um, I usually use it to search for the venue so put, especially if you've done a nice nice venue um, I'll put uh, one of the venues in, in the title and use that and use sort of keywords and use that as a search engine, which I have had a few bookings from in the past. I'm absolutely knackered today. Um, I've been cracking on with other edits and stuff, but I finally had my last two weddings of the year which one was on Friday and one was on Saturday and the Friday one was quite far away it was a three hour drive each way and I was there for about 12 hours so um, it was very long and then I had another wedding on the Saturday so well uh, after a little bit a little bit of rest yesterday I'm back at it today so let's have a look at the best settings here we are in Adobe Premiere and this is the video I want to export. So not everyone knows the settings off by heart. So YouTube lets you know that. So if you go to, if you just Google um, upload settings for YouTube, they have it all here for you. So here's our audio codec and here's our video codec. You've got um, your frame rates and this is what we want to look at is the bit rates, especially for the video. Um, so here's your typical um, bit rates here, depending on um, what you filmed it in. Most of the stuff is still 1080p for me. Um, and then you've got your standard dynamic range and your high dynamic range here. So the video I'm using is standard dynamic range, uh, 1080p, and I shot in 25 25 frames per second. So this is the key um, bit rate that I'm looking at there. And also you wanna bear in mind is the audio bit rates as well. And like I said, the audio codex. So let's go back to Adobe. I'm on the iMac, so Command M. So we want the H.264. Um, this is where you just literally set where you want to save it and what you want to call it and let's go down to the video settings so like I said frame rate is 25 frames per second here's my 1080p video scroll down to your bitrate encoding you've got three options I'm not going to go into detail now but you want to do VBR two pass you've got your target bit rates and your maximum bit rates so this target bit rate is what we have here so let's change that to eight and your maximum bit rate it, we can crank it right up so in this case it's 50 double check the audio so the audio codec was that so these settings are all looking good and that's it all you have to do then is hit export so a very quick and easy video um, I'm sure you can follow it, but it's quite an important video. Like I said, depending on what you want to do, um, you can now put your videos onto YouTube. So if you haven't already, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.